everybody, it's B. Um, I'm here today, not on my normal Monday vlog, but uh, something that has kind of been weighing on me today to do a video on. Uh, I had a friend who inspired me to do this, and maybe I need a hobby, but you know, I figured I've, I've got some knowledge to share. I, uh, I might as well share it. So what I want to talk today about is uh, labels, reading labels. Um, this particular person was, was really freaking out because she was... Uh, I, I almost gave it away. She was uh, she really freaking out about the amount of calories that was in it were in the foods that she was eating, and and I had to sit down and explain to her that you know 140 calories for meal is not that big of a deal. Um, what's important is where your calories come from, and I made her read me the label, and, and you know I, I got her got her straightened out. But I thought that I would put a video up to kind of help her and, and to help you guys out there who may be struggling with this because it was something that took me a while to fully understand and um, you know it, it's confusing. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Now before we get into this, I got a big chart here I want to show you. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to break this up into two videos because uh, it really tends to get boring if you don't really give a crap. Um, but I would think that most of the people out there, especially those who are in the uh, the uh, weight loss surgery community, would care about what they're eating if you don't already know this information. So let's jump right into it. This is a chart that I made that kind of explains where your food goes. Now don't laugh. It looks like your kindergartner made this. But basically at the top here, this is your food. All right, This is the things we put in our stomach. Now your food can break, be broken down into two main categories. Over here, nutrients. Okay. And over here is minerals. Now we'll start with the minerals first. Minerals consist of things like iron and B12, potassium. All right, basically things that you would find in your multivitamin, which is why it's critically important you take your multivitamin every day, Mike. Now, um, what do minerals do? Well, minerals are kind of like the building blocks in your body. They allow your body to generate the enzymes and generate the chemicals that it needs to, to do the chemical reactions and the processes that it needs to do to basically basically live. Um, it lets you make things like insulin and make things like, um, oh hell, I don't know, you know, pick something, your, your TSH, your thyroid hormone, uh, the chemical that fires neurons in your brain. I have no idea. I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a nutritionist or my physician. Um, I just studied the hell out of this stuff. So if you want to make this simple, you know, and I use the motor analogy a lot, basically your minerals are things like um, oil in your engine, uh, transmission fluid, or you know, <laughs> blinker fluid if your car has that. Um, these are the things that allow your car to do the job that it does. Okay, things other than the fuel source, other than the gasoline. All right, now. Your nutrients are the gasoline, right? Now, only in our motor, we have several different types of gasoline. Or actually, our gasoline has several different additives that perform different functions. Um, nutrients can be broken down into three basic, what they call macronutrients. Write that down, it's important. Your macronutrients are primarily proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. I bet you've all heard those before, all right? It's pretty simple. Now. Each macronutrient can be broken down further into uh, into basic elements, and and those nutrients are things like polysaturated fats, trans fats, uh, sugars, um, fiber. Proteins really doesn't break down into anything other than proteins. Um, it's just proteins. Now, if you guys out there um, that really study this stuff, I'm keeping this really basic. Obviously, you can you can tell that I, this is really just the information that we need in order to read labels. All right. Um, so let's pick apart a couple of these that are really important. Now, there's stuff here in green, and I should have put protein in green, but because um, protein's the other good thing. These are the good things. All right. These are the things we want to eat. Uh, you won't find omega-3 fatty acids on product labels just because, um, well, there's, they don't put those on it. Um, but those are found in things like olives, olive oil, almonds, things like that, the good fats. If you take flaxseed, you know, it's got omega-3 fatty acids in there. What, the, what those do are, are those basically, um, those assist in brain functions um, and, and some other things, but primarily in your brain. Fiber is uh, is something you hear hear a lot about lately. Um, 
fiber is without getting too technical fiber is basically the stuff in vegetables in the in vegetable cells and in plant cells that the body can't digest or it can't yeah digest I guess it's the right way to say it um, there's a couple different types of fibers you know you hear about soluble fibers and insoluble fibers and they both have different functions um, and feel free to YouTube that if you want to or Google it or ask me offline I, there's tons of information out there I'm just trying to keep this as short as possible um, and then your proteins now I've got some numbers down here at the bottom that we'll talk about uh, when we get to labels but basically what these are, are these are the calories that are involved with grams of each of the macronutrients. One gram of fat has nine calories. One gram of carbohydrates has four calories. One gram of protein has four calories. So you see where those calories start to come from. Now uh, when, we get to, uh, when we get to looking at labels here in just a second, I'll explain that a little further. And we'll probably refer back to this chart. Okay, so before we start looking at labels, we need something else first. We need a plan. Now, what's our plan going to be? Well, we can't really start reading labels if we don't know what we're looking for, right? Well, we got the nutrients down, we got the vitamins down, we got the minerals down, we got the fats and all that stuff down, but we need to know about the numbers. It's the numbers we want to know about. This is where our plan comes in. Now, when you started this whole journey, whether you be a weight loss surgery patient or whether you're just a fitness and nutrition person, your doctor or your nutritionist said you need a target. You need a X number of calories a day. All right. Now, just for argument's sake, let's say that you are eating 1,500 calories a day. Okay, 1,500 right there. Now, meals per day. You need to know how many times a day you're going to eat. I can't tell you how many times a day you're going to eat. I know how many you should eat, but only your schedule can determine that. So let's just say, to keep the math simple, that you're going to eat five meals a day, all right? You're going to eat in the morning, you're going to eat a snack, you're going to eat lunch, you're going to eat in the afternoon, you're going to eat dinner, all right? Five meals a day. Now, if you can add and subtract and multiply and divide, I'm pretty sure you can figure this out. If you're eating 1,500 calories a day and you have five meals in a day, you need 300 calories a meal. Now that we know how many calories per meal we want, we can start looking at where these calories come from and we can start devising a menu for our day and even our week. So now we can get to the labels.